Natalie's there. She talks <laughs> Every day, hundreds of acres of rainforest are destroyed from farming and wood, killing countless trees and animals. Deforestation is the act and process of clearing away trees, which is harmful to the environment. The tropical rainforest is one of the most diverse and beautiful places on Earth. Why destroy it? According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, 27.9 million acres of tropical rainforest are cut down each year. That is like destroying the state of Tennessee each year. So what are we doing about it? Sure, there are organizations such as the Rainforest Action Network and the Rainforest Foundation, but there needs to be a much bigger effort before there is no tropical rainforest left. Today I'm going to prove to you that deforestation is wrong, that the tropical rainforest is worth preserving, and that you should do something about it. Deforestation is killing the rainforest and should be stopped. So why cut it down in the first place? Reasons for deforestation include harvesting for lumber and fuel wood, and the most important is agriculture. Wikipedia says that deforestation contributes to 20% of greenhouse emissions, soil erosion, and it also affects the water cycle. Because of deforestation, we are losing 137 plant, animal, and insect species a day, as said by the Student Guide to Tropical Rainforest Conservation. If deforestation isn't stopped, it will soon destroy the most be beautiful places in the world, the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are the most diverse places in the world, holding over 30 million different species of plants and animals, which is worth preserving. All of the species are highly adapted to competition and will not survive anywhere else. They are both beautiful to watch and fascinating to learn about. There are hummingbirds that can feed off of a certain type of flower, and that flower also can only be po pollinated by that hummingbird. There are, more, there, there are more than just beautiful places. By having so many actual plant, plants, they actually contribute to putting water and oxygen back into the atmosphere. Also, there are many plants that have medicinal purposes, including quinine, which can help treat malaria, and rosy periwinkle, which helps people with leukemia. And there are most likely some that haven't even been discovered yet. Who knows, one may even cure cancer. The tropical rainforest is an exotic and beautiful place. And if more people are willing to pitch in, it can be saved. You don't have to join a group or go on a petition in front of the White House. There are little things you can do that with enough people doing them, they can make a big difference. The easiest thing you can do is very simple. At the store the next time you go shopping, use recyclable bags. Also, when you buy things, look to see if they're made from recycled products <laughs> or not. For example, notebooks. And when you are at your house, make sure you do your part and recycle anything you, that you can. Another way is when voting for bills that help protect and preserve the environment. You can even suggest something to your area's representative. Also, almost all organizations that help support the rainforest are nonprofit, so even the smallest donations help. So now hopefully you know that deforestation is wrong, that the tropical rainforest is worth preserving, and that there's something you can do about it. So are you going to help the endangered orangutan and the Puerto Rican parrot whose lives depend on the rainforest? So many animals and plants will be gone if deforestation isn't stopped and the tropical rainforest isn't protected. People need to start doing something before it's too late. At the rate that the tropical rainforest is decreasing, there will soon be none left. Already, over a third of it is gone and can never come back. So now I hope you do your part and help protect the rainforest.